Hello, hello, it's June Olson with Junebug Creations Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator coming to you live from Whitefish, Montana. It's very rainy, cool Montana morning, so I have my new sweatsuit on because it's nice and snugly warm, and of course, it's my son's school. So, yep, Baldwin Wallace Track and Field. So, proud mama here, can you tell? All right, so this is Wednesday, therefore it is Paper Pumpkin Play Date. <laughs> I'm getting my words all mixed up already. That can't happen. So, let's get started. Um, I have one card to share with you, and then I have a few things to remind you of. And we're going to play with the stamps a little bit so that you can kind of see how they look differently because one set of the stamps is distinctive stamps, which are stamps created from pictures. Um, good morning, Joanne. Nice to have you on here. And good morning, Covina. Nice to have you on here. I don't know why it's putting your things in twice. Your comments are going in twice. Not sure what that's all about. I'm still learning this crazy program, right? So let's go ahead and get started. This is Paper Pumpkin. It is, in my opinion, the best. Um, subscription box that you can get. It is amazing. It comes to your mailbox every month. You can order it on a month to month basis where you pay for it uh, month to month, or you can prepay it with one month, three months, six months, or 12 months. And of course, the more months that you get, the bigger the discount. When you order the, when you do the prepaid for 12 months, you're actually only paying for 11. You get the 12th one free and you get Stampin' Rewards because any orders over $150, you get Stampin' Rewards. So when you do a 12 month prepaid, you get a free paper pumpkin kit and you get Stampin' Rewards. Good morning, Donna. Nice to have you on here. Good morning, Missy. Sunflowers, unwavering faith and constant orientation towards the light. Oh, and Missy, when we were driving through um, North Dakota, sunflowers everywhere, everywhere, just yellow fields of sunflowers. They were so beautiful. I think I did send you a picture. I just could never get close because we were on the interstate. Um, love the last one, sent four out right away. Nice, Covina. I'm glad you're making them and sending them out. All right. Uh, let's see. I love how you all say good morning to each other. I love the uh, crafty community we are building here. That's the whole point of this, is to build a nice, safe, craft, crafty community. So, today we're going to work on this one. So this is the new one, The Meaningful Flowers. It's August 2023. And I had asked you last week to kind of look up your favorite flower and see. So my favorite flower, and I'm gonna show you the picture from my garden, is the stargazer lily these two and it was on one stem they popped up amongst my irises last summer for the first time ever totally volunteers i never planted them i don't know if people who lived here before planted them but we've been here three years and last year was the first year it popped up this year i haven't seen them but i'm thinking after doing some reading i'm thinking of actually going to buy some bulbs and planting them but I wanted to share, and I pulled it up on my computer because um, apparently there are three different ones. Um, and let's see, so it's got the common stargazer lily colors and their meaning. So the pink ones that I just showed you are the most common stargazer lily variety, and those are my favorite. Um, they exude, exude, exude Wow, that's a hard word to say. Exude a sense of extravagance. For this reason, pink stargazers symbolize prosperity, abundance, and wealth. The white ones represent purity, innocence, and reverence. And the yellow ones, which I'm not sure I've seen yellow ones, have a sunny, cheerful look. They can represent friendship, gratitude, and joy. But the general sort of meaning, meaning um, it says the bold, gorgeous pink stargazer lily stands for financial success, abundance, wellness, and prosperity. And to me, when you say wellness, that can also mean health, which 
who doesn't want that, right? Everyone loves some good health. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a post today with a picture of a stargazer lily and the meaning, and then I'm going to ask you all to post your pictures of your favorite flower, whether it's your own that you have in your garden or whether it's just one you like to get in a bouquet with the meanings. And we're going to include that into the August drawing. All right. So I've decided to give away a, a um, stamp set and I'm going to do because we've been talking about flowers. I don't have one with just flowers on it so I thought this one would be nice because it would go with flowers it would even go with this stamp set today the the one that's in here so I'm going to be giving away this botanical layers stamp set and this is for doing the homework so if you haven't done the homework of while I was on all my different trips then go ahead and do that and there weren't as many as I had initially intended which is okay um, so that's less for you to make up if you haven't had a chance. So make sure you go through my um, Joomba Creations page and um, find the homeworks, do the homeworks. I think there were three or four of them. Um, and then anytime that there was another post where you had a question to answer or something like that. So all commenting, all um, posts, no, not posts, all comments, um, all participation posts and things like that those will all count and you'll just you get one point for each one that you do it's not the number of comments that's a lot of counting to do <laughs> so trust me i know this from all the vendor groups so if you want to get in on the drawing for the botanical layers and this is a um, cling stamp set so it's the red rubber stamp set it says you mean the world to me thank you for everything thinking of you and then it has the different types of leaves and this sort of has yeah no that's leaves this is little flowers right here this is just little dots and then these different leafy ones so this is what i'm giving away so make sure you get your homework done you have until i'll give you the three-day weekend so you have until next tuesday to get all the homework done to um get into the drawing for the botanical la layers all right, so let's get to our paper pumpkin because this is really what today is all about, right? So paper pumpkin subscription box. You have to subscribe by the 10th of the month. So um, it's already, it's almost September. So by the 10th of the month for September, you will want to subscribe to get this next one. This next one is designed by our, by our fabulous co-founder, Shelly Gardner, and she Oh, you know that if she is doing something, it is elegant and it is beautiful. And I can just tell by the box, it's going to be elegant and beautiful. It even shows the stamp set here. So you already have an idea of the stamps. And then it's little note cards, um, note cards and treat boxes. And then they're going to have an add-on of this gorgeous journal. All right. And this will go on sale on the 11th so you have until the 10th of the month to subscribe and this add-on will go on sale on the 11th the day after so don't wait get this in your plan if you're not already a subscriber subscribe now all right um, on YouTube it's down below on Facebook it's up above if you are on YouTube please make sure to hit the subscribe button and help me out and also the bell so that you know when I am going to be live all right, so this month, this stamp set, this uh, paper pumpkin came with two stamp sets. The distinctive, which are stamps made from pictures that shows very different shadings of things, and then regular lined, lined stamps with sentiments. And we're gonna play a little bit with these. Then we had a Pretty Peacock stamps, stamp and spot, and I'm going to use my larger size. And then they have the block, and this comes in your very first one. It says paper pumpkin right here. This comes in your very first one, but I'm going to be using today my ergonomic blocks that come in the variety of sizes. All right, so what I decided today is I wanted to go through and see what, what I had left over. If I made all the cards, would I have any extras? So, um, on the no fail instructions, it shows you that we have four. I'm gonna, I'm backing up a little bit because I forgot to do this part. <laughs> the no, no fail instructions. 
cool you did. Let's see, hold on. Your garden, my garden, ha, that's funny. You don't have a garden, Missy, is that what you're saying? I'm not sure. <laughs> Joanne likes the um, sunflowers also. Yeah, they're great flowers, great flowers. And I saw a lot in people's gardens in the Midwest. Um, it was very interesting. I haven't really seen them around here. I don't know if maybe we don't get enough sun, sunflowers. All right, so four cards each, eight cards total. On the back is the ingredients, some ideas for alternates. And then on the inside, you have the ingredients for each card and then how to make each card. And it really truly is no fail instructions. You have a ruler inside, so you don't even have to look for a ruler. All you need is a pair of scissors and you can do this kit. And then they're here, they're just talking about tools that can take your Stampin' to the next level. And we'll be using some of these tools in some of our alternates as they come along. Excuse me. Ooh. I drank my celery juice before getting on and now it's giving me some troubles. All right, so here is the first card. Your friendship is unforgettable and it is forget-me-nots, which means love, devotion, memories. And even the inside, I'm totally gonna have to use the, I, I don't always like cutting up the envelopes, but I you know I'm going to have to for this one. All right, and then, I'm going to have to for this one too. It doesn't go all the way down per se, it does, but it doesn't have the lily pads all the way down. And then this one, I just had it to where it's easy to just pull out. They have it stuffed way down there like that, but I don't know if the people would realize they should pull it out. So I decided to have it just a little bit higher like that so that they'll see, oh, I gotta be able to pull it out to read it. Okay, so gorgeous cards. Um, we went ahead and used the ink pad to stamp that one on the inside. Did we stamp this one? Oh, this didn't have an inside, right? Because it was like that. All right, so let's get started on our alternate. Okay, so what I did is I went through, these are all the, our adhesives. I'm going to set those aside. These are our gems. They look like little water dots, really, which is perfect for water lilies. So I went through, and what I like to do is I like to put everything in the card that belongs. So all the ingredients go in the card that belong in the card, okay? So I did that. I went through. I put everything in there that goes in there, all right? And then I wanted to see what do I have left over. So I have one sentiment piece left over and these, so don't get rid of these because these are great. And then I have one lily left over. And then I have these. I don't know, I'm hanging on to it and I'm still going to play with it. I've only played with one, the card for this week. And then I um, will have some time because I wasn't around all weekend. And then I have these. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to wait and see. I might come up with something to use these for. So I didn't want to get rid of these. And of course, I definitely didn't want to get rid of this. So I'm going to leave those in there. And we're going to use these. And then I'm bringing in some other cardstock and paper. So I'm bringing in the Bubble Bath, which is our new pink, which is not very well seen under that light so the bubble bath and so I'm bringing in some bubble bath cardstock cut at five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and then for my inside this is the basic white cut at five and a quarter by four and that will be my inside piece and then this piece of DSP which is super cute on that side and you can't see it very well all right, super cute on that side. And then we have the pink here. I need to figure out some different lighting. This paper comes from this set, which is the delightfully eclectic 12 by 12 set. And I, I'm sure I showed it to you all when I unboxed it, but let me just pull it out and show it to you because it is pretty amazing. So they have all these little, and it's all, of course, double-sided. So then we have these flowers and the blacks. 
and then more flowers. And then here's the one I'm using today with that on the other side. And then the pretzels, super fun, nice stripes. Lots of variety to this one. This one even looks like an accounting thing for my numbers people here. And then this one, I've got another card coming with that paper. And then this one with the alphabet and the hearts. And so it's got all these different patterns. Strawberries. Who loves strawberries? Everybody say strawberries if you love strawberries. Oh, I love strawberries. I love all fruit, really. But I, I love strawberries. All right, so that's where this paper comes from. If you're thinking, ooh, I like that stripe. And I couldn't decide whether to do it this way or this way, but I decided to go this way. And then what I've done is I'm bringing in something new that you can't even get yet, but you will be able to on the first. It is called the Deckled Circles. Look how huge this one can be. This will be perfect for scrapbooking, Joanne, because I know you're a scrapbooker. This is huge. So it's way too big for a card, although you could cut that circle and turn it into a card. But this is huge, and it goes all the way down. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen circles. All right. So what I did is I took this flower, and I was like, all right, which one does it go in? It fits inside this one. All right. And so then I made sure that that would fit on here and it just fits. So we're going to be taking that out. All right. But then I needed a backdrop for the card. Of course, I planned this card, but I didn't make it since this was the only extras, but I did plan it out. And then I thought, oh, I need something to put that lily on. So we are going to... <clears throat> Take part an envelope. I know, cringing, cringing, totally cringing, but have to do it. We just have to do it. All right, I think one of the easiest ways to do this is to bring my trimmer over here. All right, and I'm going to just trim off the edge. I'm going to want it lined up anyway, so I'm just going to trim off this edge. Here. and then I'm going to flip it over Whew, we don't want to mess that up although we probably won't be using that because we'll be using the inside oh I didn't get it all all right that's okay but it opens now and then you can just peel these off if you want like that if you think you're going to use this blue part you can just peel those off all right, and we'll just put all that in the recycle bin because this isn't worth keeping. All right, so now I wanted to use this part here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut this out. I don't want to use the sticky part, so I'm putting the circle just below that. So now we're going to die cut this out. Let's bring over our handy dandy machine. And we need our plate one, plate two, which I need to order. I thought I ordered a new one, but mine, some people accidentally cut on this, and this isn't for cutting. And so you can see what happens if you use this for cutting, it gets messed up. These are the ones used for cutting, not this. So I think, I thought I had ordered another one of these, but apparently not, because it's looking pretty bad. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to lay our envelope down here. And I want to have, you know, some of this in here. So I'm going to push it right up to the edge like that. I'm going to lay this on here like that and run it through. And of course, it's way thinner than our papers and things, so it cuts really easy. All right, so now I have this cool circle all right and then let me move that out of the way i want to put one here on this in the center and it just fits all right it just fits put 
this down and run it back through. All right. I was trying to decide if I should do a smaller circle, which you could, I could have done a smaller circle, it'd still be seen, but I decided to try the big circle and see, and if it doesn't work out, since I couldn't pre-do it per se, because I didn't want to use everything up um, before doing it for you. So we'll see. We might end up going with just one circle smaller. All right. So this is the front of my card, and then this will be going behind here, like this, and we're going to put dimensionals on the back of this. So let's go ahead and use dimensionals. So I'm going to put these on the corners, because I want it to kind of pop up. Here, like this. All right, so what did you all do this past weekend? You all know I was in Vegas um, having a blast for backstage. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. They took us to um, the Beatles love Cirque du Soleil. Like every one of us, we got a new shirt, which is in the laundry, so I'm not wearing it today. Um, we got a new shirt that we were asked to wear so you could see all the way around the whole um, stage, all the different sections. Um, you could see all these blue shirted people um, for those that wore it. Not everyone wore their shirt, but most people did. And um, it was a wave of blue all the way around showing that we belong together. They bust us over on 15 buses. Can you imagine that? 15 huge, like, Travel buses, not school buses, but 15 huge travel buses. <laughs> it was, it was crazy. It was so awesome and amazing. Um, the way they, the way they take care of us, the way they treat us, the way they feed us, it just really makes you feel super special. Um, it's just awesome. So, and this was a leaders conference. So you had to be silver elite or above. Sounds like a great time. It really was a great time strawberries oh you just ordered that pack nice nice joanne how fun it really was fun now i am and don't shoot me for it i'm not a super big fan of beatles music but i've had their songs now in my head it was a cool interpretation so i i have these little spots right here and i don't want them to sag so i'm just going to very tediously cut off these little pieces to put right there on the edge. Um, so I'm not a super huge fan of Beatles music. In other words, I don't own any. I don't look for it to listen to it. If it's playing, I'm fine with it. It's not that I don't like the music, but I don't own it. It's not something that when I go buy music or when I on Spotify, I don't have any Beatles music on my Spotify. And one of the things they were talking about, there were a lot of references to the Beatles all weekend long to kind of clue us in because the Beatle love thing, the event Saturday night was a surprise. They liked to surprise us, but they were giving us little clues all along wearing Beatles shirts and, um, and referring to quotes from like George Harrison. I think that was his last name and stuff like that. So it was, it was pretty funny. Everyone was freaking out and constantly asking, where do you think they're taking it? Was where, I don't, it, it didn't matter to me where. I knew whatever they chose to do with us, it was going to be a ton of fun. So it really didn't matter to me where we were going or what we were going to do. But for some people, it mattered. They wanted to know, here's another one. They wanted to know what we were doing. <laughs> And they wanted to know what everyone else was speculating. My roommate called it. The first time that, that two people came out on the stage in, uh, for, our pres for presentations wearing Beatles shirts, um, they, she called it. She said, oh, we're going to see Beatle Love. I'm like, okay, great, 
I wasn't thrilled. Any other Cirque du Soleil would have been great, but it was good. It was an interesting interpretation of, um, of their music. And now I have all those songs I have to, today I need to really make sure to listen to something else so I can get those songs out of my head. But one of the, one of the things was what lyrics and so I'm asking you now, what lyrics from a song from like when you were a kid or whenever did you always sing wrong? And maybe you knew what the real lyrics were, but you maybe can still sing it wrong. So for me, for example, was, hey, Jude. Well, I'd never heard the name Jude when I was a little kid. So I was saying, hey, June. I was sure they were singing, hey, June, right? Because that just made sense. <laughs> hey, June. So I still sing, hey, June when I hear that song. And so, um, all right, now that I put all those dimensionals on, I'm like, oh, maybe I should have gone with a circle just a little bit smaller. But since I've got all those dimensionals on there, we're just gonna go ahead and go with it. All right, so I wanna put that. You know what, I think I want to emboss this. We're gonna emboss this. I probably should have embossed this, but now I've got to put all those. All right, you know what, I'm just gonna use that for something else. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to cut another piece. Is this the right size? Cut another piece. That will work. And we're going to go with a smaller circle. <laughs> so tell me what songs you have or one, one song that you maybe as a kid learned and then you were like, as an adult, you were like, oh, that that's not what I was saying because all of a sudden it it had a meaning to you you know for for another example the, the <laughs> grease lightning all right y'all know grease lightning right everybody comment grease if you know grease lightning that song Lord have mercy if I'd known what that stuff meant in the as a kid I, or if my mom had even known what that stuff meant because she was from Germany and so you know there was a little bit of translation issues and just not having grown up here she didn't know all the terminology and what it meant but goodness that's that's um, not really a children's song or a song for children to sing but I remember singing it as a kid and I remember being in Germany at age 13 and going on a field trip with my aunts class which were all little second graders so like eight and nine years old and they were singing Grease Lightning and Hopelessly Devoted to You and all that stuff and now when I listen to that song I'm like ah, crazy yeah Joe yeah greasy yeah sing them wrong to bug your kids oh I bet you do Missy that just sounds like something you would totally do <laughs> But yeah, Grease Lightning is one of those songs that, oh my gosh, when you learned what the, what the words really were and when you were old enough to have had life experiences to figure out what it meant, then when you hear children sing that song, you're like, ooh, that's kind of, woo. <laughs> that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. All right, so let's see. This is going to go here. And this is going to go here. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. So now I got to put all the dimensionals on this one because, you know, that's how that goes. So I'll just use these that I all cut apart already. So, yeah. But what words, like I did the Hey June instead of Hey Jude. I really thought it, I really thought they were singing to me. <laughs> right? I mean, why wouldn't they be singing to me? I think I'm going to use this one up. Why wouldn't they be singing to me? All right. This is taking longer than planned. I'm hurrying. All right. But anyways, it was fun. The acrobatics for Cirque du Soleil, if you've never seen a Cirque du Soleil, they're pretty amazing. I saw my first Cirque du Soleil in Germany. Um, when I, oh, as an adult, um, when I was over there to become a godmother, <clears throat> I saw Cirque du Soleil. They are pretty amazing acrobats. It's like, wow, that would kill me. <laughs> but they are pretty amazing. All right, so 
let's put a few of these up here. There's a little more room up here than there was on the other one. But I just don't want it to sag there because if it's going to sag anywhere, it's going to be right there in the middle where you least want it to sag. So you want to make sure to have your pieces. And I probably should zoom in because you're probably all going, I can't even see that, June. All right. So, yes, some songs. And even like Def Leppard, um, oh, one of the Def Leppard songs, which one is it now? Um, I can't even think of the name now. Because Def Leppard is one of my uh, favorite groups from the 80s. I don't know, are you guys surprised to hear that? Donna wouldn't be, because she knows me from junior high. But um, yeah, Def Leppard. And then Rick Springfield was my favorite singer. Still like Rick Springfield. Um, yeah, still like Rick Springfield. It's just one of those things. I've read his book. It was a good book. It was a good thing I didn't know that stuff when I was a kid. <laughs> I can say that honestly too. It was a good thing I didn't know what he was doing when I was a kid. He was not a good boy. But as an adult, I'm like, okay, you know what? Things happen. Life happens. People do things. We all learn from it. Or as long as we all learn from it, it's all good. All right. Oh, again, I should have embossed this. All righty. guess it's not getting embossed because now we have dimensionals on the back again. But I can emboss this. Because it has kind of an embossed mark on it anyways because it's got the line from the envelope. Let's emboss it. And I'm going to emboss it. Let's see, will it fit in here? It will not fit in here. So let's, I'm just gonna go simple and easy with the favorite painted textures. Because it is supposed to be water. So we'll just do it with the painted textures real quick I'm so absorbed in what we're talking about I'm kind of forgetting what I'm doing here right say June zip it and get this card done <laughs> all right my mother-in-law is actually waiting for me to get done so she can leave so she can go out this front door and not interrupt my my class or my zoom okay so that looks pretty dang cool all right, so we're gonna put that there and we're gonna use our adhesive, our glue. Oh, I did a class, a card class, uh, Friday night at this place called Corks, Crafts and Corks. Corks and Crafts, Corks and Crafts. And it was very cool. It was with a whole bunch of other demonstrators put on by some demonstrators who were celebrating 20 years of knowing each other. And there we go. Oh, before we do that, we should do this one. All right. I'm not going to stamp on here because I'm going to stamp our sentiment on here. So let's grab out our sentiment. And I'm going to do the you rise above the rest sentiment like this and then we'll go ahead and do it in the pretty peacock right. like that and then on the inside of this one I want to use the um, bubble bath to do this large lotus, uh, lily, not lotus, right? Lily. All right, so now I've got myself confused. Is it lily or lotus? Lily, uh, lotus flower, it is lotus. All right, lotus flower. All right, so I want to ink it up like this. Just tap, 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 tap. 
or if you have the little one you're going to tap it on there and then I'm going to put it over here stamp it down firmly and then prick it up and you can see all the multitude of layers in that all right and that's what makes it distinctive is the fact that it's got the different shape Oop. it's got the different shading okay it's hard to tell that that's pink I know all right so we're going to put this here I feel like this needs to be popped up anyways so we're going to pop that up I'm not going to use a ton of them because I think it'll hold just fine with those all right the stripes might have worked better worked since the top is a smaller circle true that might have worked okay so we're going to do that and then we're going to do this like that that's so pretty i love these lotus flowers um they're just amazing and lily pads i used to want to have a little pond do any of you have like a pond in your yard with the fish in it and lily pads and things i think it would be cool and to have um frogs jumping around i know some people have that in their yard i wouldn't be able to because that would be a lot of upkeep and i have enough time staying up on my weeding we've been getting rain all night last night and then we're supposed to have it all day today so tomorrow morning i will be out weeding because the ground will be nice and soft we finally planted our dianthus jolts and then we replanted we moved our rhubarb because the owner wanted to kill the rhubarb off and so he kept planting things around the rhubarb that was not giving it much room so we moved it because we actually harvest the rhubarb and make um, strawberry rhubarb pie of course so or we make a strawberry rhubarb compote we use it on our waffles, um, we use it on ice cream, all that kind of stuff. So we like to make our strawberry rhubarb. Looks like everything's sticky. So now to make sure it goes centered, there we go. Oh yeah. I'm glad I popped that up because that just that just sets it apart a little bit. All right. And I think I'm going to leave that one tucked. But I'm going to untuck that one. So it can peek out a little bit. Should I untuck this leaf too? I'm trying to decide. Should I untuck it? I don't think so. I'm part of me thinks to just keep it that way. Well, this I want to put over here. So I need to put under here, I need to put some dimensionals so that it's not, you know, fallen down. But I need to make sure where I put the dimensional. So if I'm doing this here like this, so I just need a dimensional right here. And then on the rest of it, I'll put a little bit of glue like that take this one off see because it says you rise above the rest and this is risen is that the right word risen ah, don't go crooked on me there we go there we go you rise above the rest we want to have a few of these so we're going to get our trusty take pick tool all right and oh, come on. I'll put that right there. That right there. We'll do this one over here. Oh, that doesn't really look good right there because it's white. It's clear on white. I 
think I like it up here, actually. All right, so we've got those three, and I think I'm going to do two of the little ones. One over here, and one right there. All right, and then we'll stick this on. All right. And I think next week we're going to do the stamping with these, or I might come on and do just a separate thing. Um, I have to go say goodbye to my mother-in-law. And I told her I would be done by 10.15, and it's 10.12. <laughs> so I kind of need to keep my word to her so that she can hit the road. She's got to drive all the way over. She's got an eight-hour drive up to into Canada and across. So I don't want to keep her. So now I can use these for other things. I could use it on the envelope if I wanted to. Um, I didn't bring an envelope over. I didn't bring an envelope over. Do I have an envelope here? There we go. I have one over here. So I'm going to do that flower again in the pink, the bubble bath. A lot of people call it bubble gum. It's bubble bath. Um, there we go, like that. And we are done with this alternate. All right, so we will chat next week more about the stamping because we'll be doing some stamping in next week's cards. So then we'll talk about the stamping then. That probably is better. But in the meantime, I would like to suggest that if you are playing with this, stamp it in a variety of colors on scratch paper, all right? And just kind of play with it and see what looks best to you. So here is our card. I thank you so much. Let me turn this light off. Oh, before I forget, today and tomorrow, last day to redeem your bonus coupons, okay? Please don't forget this. It's the last day. Tomorrow is the very last day to redeem, redeem your coupons. So if you have not done that, you really do need to place an order and do that. My link is either down below on YouTube or up above on Facebook. Get your, get your money. You're, it's $5. You don't want to leave per coupon. You don't want to leave that on the table. The next thing to remind you is that tomorrow is the last day of the kits collection sale. Some things have sold out, but there are still quite a few kits left. I'll be doing another kit live later today where I'm going to show you all the Christmas kits that we're going to use for um, September, October, and November's Christmas Card Club. And I have some of the alternates completed as well. So make sure that you order your kits before the end of the day tomorrow. So speaking of that, we have the Christmas Kit Club. So if you're interested in that, comment below and I'll be um, getting that information. And remember, you have until the 10th of September to subscribe to this one. This isn't as high priority. You still have a little bit of time because it's not even September, but the redeeming your coupons and the kit collection, both of these end tomorrow, all right? Tomorrow is the last day to get your kits at 30, up to 30% off and to redeem your coupons, and they go really well together. So if you have any questions about that, make sure to ask me. You can message me. You can message me or you can comment below and I will um, check those comments here after I say goodbye to my mother-in-law. So have a, you're loving the water drop embellishments. Yeah, I really like how that, how that looks. So have a great rest of your day, everybody. I will be back. I'll give you a heads up. Uh, well, in the heads up chat, I'll let you know. If you're not a part of the heads up chat, chat and you want to have typically a five minute heads up about me going live, then just put heads up down below and I will add you to that chat as long as we are friends. If we're not friends, you have to friend request me so that I can add you to that chat. And then um, I will let you know, I'll put a post I'll give you at least an hour's notice before I go live for the Christmas Card Club um, kits to show you what we're going to be doing. And then, Joanne, you're not on that? All right, I'll make sure to um, 
I'll make sure to add you. And then I might do a second, a third live tonight um, because of kids of the magnetic board. I've been working on that. I was going to take it with me for guitar. I did not get it done. I'm not sure if he needs it, but I still want to make it anyways. So we'll see. I can let him choose. Maybe I'll make it and I'll give it to him at Christmas and then he can decide if he wants it in his dorm room. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you back here for some other lives. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.